<laughs> the TV game show takes place right here in my mom's car. All right. All right, Becky. So mm -hmm, here's mm -hmm. the deal. Am I gonna have to answer Bible trivia? You're gonna answer Bible trivia. Oh gosh, I don't yeah. know the answers. You have Wait, with the kingdom of wait, what do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Hold on, let me think about it. Also, Google it. Faith is God. you need faithless like you need compared <laughs> to a what? The the key, what does he think the kingdom of God is like? The kingdom of God is like <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Mustard. It's like you need faith like a mustard seed. That's what he said. The parable of a mustard seed. Is that your final answer? Yes. Uh, mustard seed is correct. <laughs> Becky, where should we stop and eat? I was thinking we could go carne asada or maybe some delicious pizza in the hot, hot sun. Maybe cheese, supreme pizza. What about raw beef? I think some raw beef would be delicious today. I mean, what with, with the heat and stuff, I mean, it's pretty hot. Some raw beef's delicious. Or maybe that guy's pit bull. That guy. Darkness trembled in your holy light But every eye will see Jesus our God Great and mighty to be praised God of all days Lord in all of your ways The majesty, the wonder and grace In the light of your name So let all rise Darkness tremble in your hope
to God, we are never alone. We are God's beloved, called to be in relationship with Jesus Christ. No matter what happens in this life, this truth remains. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus calls you his own. Jesus will never leave you. Giving witness to that by the power of the Holy Spirit is our job. Telling a neighbor, inviting a stranger, daily reminding ourselves. We belong to Jesus Christ, and Jesus loves us. It was this truth that Jesus knew would transform the world. It was this truth that Jesus knew would rescue our community. It is this truth that Jesus knew would stretch and grow us as a church. It is this truth that gives us the courage to allow our lives to be altered by the power of the Holy Spirit, to convert our hearts, to adjust our priorities, to reform our stewardship, to repair our relationships, to transform our lives. God fulfilled the Easter promise when he gave us the Holy Spirit for us to live as crazy Jesus-loving witnesses. 